Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video, we are going to be doing the dog picks my makeup tag. <laughs> I am so excited about this video and the idea for it came all thanks to my sister-in-law. She left me a comment on my previous video and she told me you should do a dog picks my makeup video and I was like, duh, <laughs> everyone's doing it. I have a beautiful, the most lovable two-year-old bulldog in the whole wide world, so why not? And I haven't introduced him to my channel so his name is Coco and he was such a good sport when it comes to making this video and I just wanted to show him off in my channel and just show you what a good sport he was he was a trooper he did such a good job when it comes to picking my makeup as you can see he did a good job in picking my makeup and I'm gonna take you through the entire thing and how he did and how I went about choosing the products that I did and so on so when it comes to the products that I had him choose I only chose four categories. I chose eyeshadow palettes, highlights, lipstick, and foundation because I thought those would be the products that would make the most difference when it comes to a makeup look. Those are the products that I thought would make or break a final makeup look, if that makes sense. So for instance, an eyeshadow palette, I gave him different kinds of eyeshadow palettes to choose from. Some were really colorful, others were softer, so that would make the difference in the final look that I would get so that's how I went about choosing the products that I did and then from there what I did was just basically lay out the products on the floor put treats on top of each of the products and just release the hounds and just let him go free and choose on his own what I would be wearing today once again he was such a good sport and I am so happy that I got the chance to do this video with him and show it to you guys if you do hear a sound in the background that's my fan it's super hot in this room and I don't want to be super sweaty when it comes to filming so I do have it on so sorry about that if it's distracting I am sick so that's why my voice sounds weird I do have to take a little bit of a break in between like phrases or just in between a couple of takes because my voice will get tired it is a little bit raspy so just bear with me on this one it kind of sucks that the entire video is so good like I had so much fun in making this video but it's just my voice and the fan is off in this video but I really hope you guys do enjoy checking it out but before we get started don't forget to give this video a big old thumbs up for effort and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this if you're new here welcome don't forget to stick around in this channel because more fun videos are to come in the near future and also before we get started I do want to mention that the creator of this tag was Jay Kissa when she had her dog pick her makeup and a lot of beauty influencers have been doing this this tag so I will leave a few videos if you want to check out more in that description box below so check those out and yeah without further ado if you want to see how my dog did and picking out this makeup look then please stay on and keep on watching <laughs> jump straight into the video I've already moisturized and primed my face so we're gonna go ahead and see what my dog chose for foundation now for foundation I decided to give him four different options I gave him the physician's formula the healthy foundation which is a more natural finish of a foundation I decided to give him the Estee Lauder double wear makeup which is full heavy duty um, full coverage foundation I gave him the cushion foundation by wet and while which I've never used before so I wanted to give him something that I might have to try on for the first time and finally I gave him my dewy um, the pro glow foundation so out of those four my dog chose the physician's formula the healthy foundation which I've been loving so far it is one of those foundations that is not too full coverage it is like a medium coverage but you do have to build it up a little bit to get that coverage that you want for your skin but it's very easy to build up so you can do that if you need it to but overall it's a foundation that's very lightweight and that it just gives your skin such a beautiful finish so we're gonna go in with that because my bubba decided to give me beautiful skin for today all right guys so now that the foundation is on i'm gonna go ahead and do bronzer blush powder and my brows off of camera and then i'll be right back for the next product on our list which is the highlight so i'm gonna go ahead and do that really quick and i'll be right back 
All right, so I'm back, and the only thing missing as far as complexion products go is, of course, a little sparkle, a little glow, if you will. So we're now going to go ahead and see what my dog chose as far as highlight. Now, for highlight, I gave him two different options, and basically, I wanted to give him two kits to choose from. And the very first kit is, of course, the ABH Glow Kit Palette, the Sun Dipped Palette. Palette and the BH Cosmetics Black Lit Highlight Palette. So there are two different palettes, but basically what I wanted him to choose from is your everyday normal highlighter, quote unquote normal, and your colorful highlighter. So from natural to colorful, and let's see what he chose. So he just went straight into the ABH Glow Kit, which I'm relieved because I was not going for that mermaid look just yet. So we're going to go ahead and go in with this one, this is absolutely one of my favorite highlighter palettes of all time. I love it so much. So we're going to go in with the shade Summer up here and just highlight our face. And I'm loving his pick so far. He's got good taste. <laughs> all right so now i'm glowy highlighter is done and the next thing that we're gonna do is go ahead and see what he chose as far as eyeshadow so for eyeshadow i gave him five different palettes to choose from so my basically my thinking behind this palette was to give him certain palettes that are difficult for me to use some that are safe and so on so i gave him the abh soft glam palette which is super dirty I can't believe how dirty this is so this would be like a safe option I gave him the ABH prism palette which this one is very difficult for me to use it has an okay formula but it's not my favorite so I gave him this one to choose from as well the Laura Lee Los Angeles party animal which if you didn't see my previous video my boxycharm unboxing I got this one on my boxycharm and after I did that video the eyeshadow palette the purple color right here did stain my eyes really bad so I I wasn't planning on reaching for it again but I chose to put it in here just to see if my dog liked it and if he wanted me to use it for this video then I chose the Alamar Cosmetics palette which is absolutely beautiful maybe give him a little bit of like teals and maroons to choose from on there in that mix maybe a blue moment with the next palette the KKW X Mario palette and once again between these five palettes it was just a nice combination of colors and formulas and as you guys saw with this one he did take his time a little bit he meditated he thought about it he went through his options and in the end he he went in with the KKW X Mario palette, which is this one right here. It's been used and abused. I use it so much when it comes to just everyday looks and to go to work. I use it a lot. This color right here is always in my inner corners. This one is always on my lids and it's just a palette that I've been in love with. So thank you Coco for choosing wisely once again. So we're going to go ahead and do a beautiful look with this palette. So the first thing that I always do when it comes to using this palette is using this color down here called decade and just laying it down all over my lid for a nice base after that i go in with the shade miami up here and just fluff it up all over my crease i'm thinking of doing something very simple today i'm not going to go into complicated and i'm not going to use the blue shade right here because i'm wearing an orange shirt and i don't want to look like the Denver Broncos <laughs> so I think it's gonna be like too clashy if I use both of them right now so we're just gonna do something very simple and then I usually take that same color and drag it on my lower lash line and I am gonna deepen out the outer portions of my lower lash line just with this dark brown here I'm going to add a little bit more of this shade up here all over my crease just to really deepen it out a little bit more. I feel like it could use some more like so and now we're going to use the color. I was going to use this gold color all over my lid but I feel like I want to use something a little bit darker so I'm going to go in with this one instead and that is the shade Armenian. I lie that's the shade Glam. And 
and then just to marry my outer vase to that lid color I'm gonna take I'm gonna take the shade of bronzy and just use it the slightest bit on my outer vase and then on the inner portions of my lower lash line I'm gonna go in with that color that gold color right here it's the one that's been used and abused in this palette the most I use it a lot on my lids just for everyday use, for the weekends, to go to work. It's very work appropriate and I love it. And then for my inner corners, I'm gonna go in with this color right here and it's the most beautiful, powerful white inner corners I've had in a while. right there the only thing that i will say about these shadows is that they don't last a long time so i've had shadows where i will put them on on my lids and the shimmer will stay put all throughout the day but with this one the shimmer will fade or it will crack on my lid so that's one thing that i will say about this eyeshadow palette that you do i do recommend you using a primer just to make sure that those colors stay put if you're gonna use it for a long amount of time and that is it for my eyeshadow look right here. Now I'm going to go off camera once again, go ahead and do my lashes, a little bit of eyeliner, and then we'll be right back for the lipstick. All right, guys, so lashes are done. I'm wearing the NYX Worth the Hype mascara. I've been loving this mascara so much. It just makes your lashes look so fluffy and full. I love this so much, by the way. And now we are ready to go on to lips. Now for lips, I gave my dog six different options. I really wanted to give him a wide range of colors to choose from as you can see I gave him a true red color I gave him a bright bright pink a bright orange so those were like very vivid colors and I gave him a gloss to choose from a nude a blush pink and then my favorite lipstick which is the one that he chose <laughs> I was not planning on this and this was not staged at all I did not train him to choose my favorite things but he chose the Maybelline touch of spice it's the shade touch of spice but it's this vivid matte lipstick i believe this is the third tub of lipstick that i bought in this kind in this shade i love it so so much it's like a purplish pink it's it leans more purple but it's just such a creamy formula it's very beautiful on the lips it's super comfortable and it just it, it doesn't wear off easily, but it does at the same time. So basically like a little bit, a small layer will wipe off just from everyday use, from talking, from sipping on coffee and things like that. But it will still leave off a nice hue of color on your lips and it wears so well and it does not, does not dry off your lips. It does say it's a matte, but it's a matte that it looks like velvet pretty much. So it's very creamy and I just love this color so much i've been using this lipstick on camera since i started youtube so for like a year now and this is my favorite lipstick wear to wear on camera because it just looks beautiful it's like it's my favorite color of all time and that is it for this video you guys thank you so much for watching i really do hope you enjoyed watching this video that you had fun i had so much fun making it and i'm so happy that my dog was such a trooper in letting me just play along with him and him just getting to choose all of the products for himself i didn't know that he was gonna choose my favorite products he chose the kkw palette which i love the highlighter i loved and the lipstick i loved so he chose a lot of the products that i love the foundation was spot on so he has good taste and he's learned well from his mom so yeah let me know what you guys thought what your thoughts were if you enjoyed watching this video if you'd like to see more from my doggy <laughs> let me know all of that in those comments down below i want to thank you so much for watching thank you so much for being here i really do hope that you guys are enjoying my content and that you guys are excited for everything else that's to come thank you so much for being here take care and hopefully i will see you all on my next video bye guys